Yo, welcome back to Click 45. I'm AY. And I'm Oz. So today what we're going to do is start off with our FA Cup results. I think we'll only focus on the big games because obviously big games make the big views. Yeah. Trust me. So first game was on Friday night. Yeah. Someone's beloved team. I had to take a bit of a humbling because this, Why I look back at the podcast and I just thought to myself, Oz. Shut your boy up because he's talking <laughs> rubbish. A treble. A treble. Wait, 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 wait. Obviously, the game I'm on about Manchester City versus Arsenal. 1-0 to Manchester City. Uh, three times. This is a free peak now we're talking about Arsenal. And it's just complete rubbish. It's finally over, I think. I hope so anyway. But yeah, 1-0 to Man City. How do you feel about the game, first of all? Ah, you know how it is, like... It's a shame we got knocked out of our birthright, you know, like Emirates FA Cup named after <laughs> the best team ever to mm, play in sure. the FA Cup. I sure. feel personally, any Arsenal fan that tells you, oh, they've got bigger fish to fry, mm. they're lying. You we, wanted that. You would want that. Of as course. Like, if you're going for all these trophies, you will want this. It doesn't matter how, where you are in your progress or sort of your you need time in your season. You, you need, need silverware. silverware. And I think, in the psychological battle, if we had won that game, yeah. it would have put a bit of fear in Pep's heart. Like, okay, these guys are actually on crud. But then again, even though we lost the game, I feel I still think there's a bit more respect than in the other times yeah. Man City has played yeah, Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, especially agree. with Haaland not scoring, I feel... Rob Holden done really well that game. He did that what game, he needed I to do. Yeah, him and Gabriel were fine. They he were completely fine. Did what he needed to do? Gave him an equaliser, gave him an elbow to the head. Yeah. Told him to like, yo, <laughs> yeah, I'm more here to play. Yeah, I know. Because when it comes to like their performance, it obviously he's got taken off 45th minute, didn't he, Rob Holden? Yeah, because he got a yellow card. Because of the yellow card, yeah. And he's in his game. It, yeah. it is, yeah. So that second yellow could have happened anytime mm. soon. So I think like the game management of Mikel Arteta was completely it's fine. I just feel bit. like, again, it's just the depth of your squad. It's showing to not be good enough. Yeah. Um. Some people will say the game changed when... Albert Sambi Laconga, I'm saying his full government because I need to chat about him. <laughs> he came onto the pitch. Mm. Um, I don't think he had a great game. It was very lackluster of him. He wasn't as attentive and proactive as a defensive midfielder should be. No. People were picking on him because they said, oh, after the match, he didn't say hi to the fans. He didn't do this. He didn't he do that. He just this. stormed off, didn't he? Yeah. I yeah, feel yeah. as a player, you get emotional. Um, mm. I'm not going to say he had a great game, but I feel the fans now attacking him, saying he's shit, he's rubbish, he's this, this, that. You need to understand that when a player comes into a team and only plays four minutes, five minutes, 15 he's gonna be minutes, cold. it affects the gameplay and it affects what the team actually wants to do. For example, when Niketia started off at Arsenal, coming in as a sub, no effect. When he started yeah. playing with the no, first you're team... Right, you're right. When he started playing with the first team, there was a lot of effect. I just, so, yeah, go, go on, on. Go on. I was just going to say, I just feel like with Nketiah, I think there was clear hope, like, because he, he was an academy player. I think there is a bit more patience with, in terms of him yeah, trying to get there. Obviously, mm. there was still stick around him. Yeah. Arsenal fans were like, nah, maybe alone is probably going to happen, needs mm. to happen. But he got stuck with last season. He showed what he was. But I think Sambi, this season and last season, it's just been still like, up and down. I know. I know. I know what you're talking about when it comes to saying that his substitutions yeah. uh, appearances aren't helping him mm. in any shape, way, or mm. form. You're right, but I still think when he does come on, it's just not good enough. I still, I, get think, what you I, mean. I still think it's not good enough for a title challenging side. I get what you mean. I want to. Um, when last season, mm. when Arsenal was, I think they lost three games. I don't not think they lost three games in a row. Crystal Palace, Brighton and Southampton. Yeah. Sambi started against Crystal Palace and Brighton, I believe. Mm -hmm. As soon as Arteta changed it up to Onene, there was a bit of more solidification. Yeah, in yeah, the, yeah. You like that, you like that word, yeah? Mm -hmm. A bit of solidification in the midfield. It mm. was a bit more, firm. It was more there. It was yeah, a bit yeah, firm. Yeah. But then again, damn, that's a big spider. Then again, oh. <laughs> <laughs> then again, then like again, <laughs> then again, I remember when Sambi joined us last season. Yeah, it was. I got a call from a certain boy, not mm. even a boy, a certain man called Oz. And he told me, oh, 
Sambi looks all right, you know. He looks quite decent, you who, know. Who, me? No, who else is was? You called me up and you were like, he looks quite decent, you know, this, this, that. So hearing this from you, it's like, wow. Because I just think with football, it's all to do with, like, within the moment. You mm. can only speak within the moment. Mm. Maybe he had his little purple patch there. I can't mm. remember that. Like, then he might be able to dictate game. He might need to show it a bit more, maybe. But well, I just don't remember. Like, I can't, I'm not going to I can't even remember the last I remember, time I said that. I remember. I'm not even the, I got all the history and facts, bro. Yeah, like, <laughs> your brain's like a receipt. I got so everything. But at the end thing, of the day, man. the only way is up. You get what I'm saying? Mm. And you will learn from your L. So Arsenal will learn from this L. And when we meet them in the Premier League, mm. smoke. Do you, okay, that's what that's where I was going to lead my next question onto about Arsenal and Man City. Mm. Do you reckon, now that they've lost this, do you reckon there's now going to be a bit more sort of intensity to Arsenal's game when it comes to that Premier League uh, clash? Definitely. I think yeah. when it comes to the Premier League clash, it's going to be from from the first minute, we're mm. onto them. We're onto mm. them because we know we're not leading by luck. No, 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 definitely not. We're you're not you're, there, you're there out of right. We're you, not leading no by luck. Other, and they yeah. take us seriously now. Mm. So, so them taking us seriously, we need to show that we're not a small team anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not an apprentice thing. It's not no, like, oh, no, no, no. that's my student. No, yeah, we're yeah, coming yeah. for the big one. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel... Right. The boys will put in work when mm. it comes to February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. Mm. Arsenal's going to show no love. Nah. Oh. <laughs> oh, Arsenal's going to show geez. no love. Oh. We're on it. We're on it. Them little, little We're on it. Shapes. You're That's on where it. they're waiting today because we lost, didn't it? That's the <laughs> way they're waiting because... Bro, couple, like, almost 8,000 fans went to the city of Manchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people are still saying, oh, it was... Um, we didn't need the game. We didn't, we didn't really care about the mm. game. Those 8,000 fans went there for a they win. Care. They, you care. Yeah, you go to football games for a reason. Bro. It doesn't matter how big or small you are. When you go for yeah, a reason. Exactly. I know a couple of man them that went there and it was like, rah, all the way to Manchester. Mm. Plus the trains weren't even working going back. So oh. if you, you people that drove wow, back wow, got wow, back wow. easily. But bro, like wow. it is what it is. I don't wish them luck in the FA Cup. No. I don't wish them luck in the FA Cup. Yeah. But then again, if that's what they've got to show. Yeah. Because I think Pep only made two changes. If that's what yeah, they got yeah, to show... Yeah, he went, he went with a stronger side than Arsenal. You're right there. I think I think that did their, show as well in the game. If yeah. that's what they got to show, come February 15th, we'll show them. Yeah, we'll show fair them enough. We'll show I, them think, I think now it's getting interesting with the FA Cup because now you've got sort of two big teams clashed against each other. So what, now when you go on to Brighton versus Liverpool, another sort of, I guess, in uh, by status name, uh, another big team got kicked out by uh, the name of Liverpool, by yeah. Brighton. 2-1 yeah. yeah. to uh, Brighton. Uh, by the way, did you see Matova's goal? Of course. Peach, what a goal. Joe Gomez was... That little, oh. Joe Gomez was flinching. Oh. Joe, I can't believe oh, him. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Bright, Brighton were by far the better team on the day. Like, oh, complete, that, yeah, complete. they were the better team. I they couldn't believe how home. good they were playing. They were like, yo, we need to do something. Yeah, man, honestly, they, the way they were playing, like they had more possession on that day. They had 56% possession. They had oh. more shots on, they had more shots. Uh, 13 shots to 8 shots and then 6 shots on target Liverpool only managed to get 2 on that's target that's why that's ridiculous Arsenal's win against them mm. on was it Boxing Day Boxing or Day. New, New Year's Eve oh, now yeah. looks like we did a wonderful piece of job okay because people are saying it's only Brian it's only Brian Brian are beating the hell yeah, out of teams bro bro like if anything, Roberto De Zerbi has just put uh, Brighton into a higher pedestal than what Graham Potter was putting them oh, in. Liverpool has not beaten Brighton this nah, season yeah, and shocked, they played three times. Shock, shock, isn't it? I, I'm, I'm not shocked at oh all. Oh my not gonna days. Lie. Like, it is really, that the way they play it, like, how they get the shots inside the box as well. That the way the way they work the ball into the box is really good system. by them as well. It's, it's a, a system. system. It's a really good system. It's a good system. They, they haven't really showed that they've missed Trossard. I'm not going to lie to they you. They haven't showed that they've missed Potter. Yeah, yeah, they no, yeah. First no, of all, they haven't shown they no miss Potter. No, no, no. There's no gaps at Bro. all. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. Sense. Yeah, no. But then, like, obviously, moving on to like Trossard, when I was talking about him, like they didn't really show they missed him because Matoma's just come into that left wing and just made it his own since October. But since being back from the World Cup, it has consistently been in before Trossard got his move to Arsenal. Is right, that Japanese? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you said hello. I'm here. <laughs> I'm about. Arigato. I'm about. Yeah, I'm about, I'm bro. I'm about. Yeah, I definitely. Went, I went to get my diploma in dribbling. Yeah, I can't believe he... They bought him from, like, they found him from a university. He said, I want to go to uni first before going into 
yeah. any professional team. Learn my trade. Learn how to mm. get past players. Mm. Cause I'm that done, and now look at the way Do he's the skipping. dissertation, he's and now he's now he's skipping past, past Trent. He's skipping Trent. past. Yeah, Bro, that's not a defender. Yeah, that's <laughs> no, not a defender. You, nah, if I'm... if the girl or if someone's not pregnant, Trent ain't about it. If you're not <laughs> pregnant, Trent ain't about it. We I'm know him. Gonna... We know him, bro. You know him. We know him. If you're not pregnant, Trent's not trying to get nah, to you. No, to be fair to Trent, I thought he had a pretty good game un- until he got taken off. Like I don't, I don't think he should have got taken off at all. James Milner just was a bit of a step down compared to Trent. Senior thought, citizen. No, nah, I know exactly. But when Trent was playing, I thought he was doing really well. Like I don't think he was doing that bad. He was, he was keeping up with Matoma. He was getting in terms of the clearances, interceptions. He was doing fine. So when he came off, it was a bit surprising, but he was angry as well. I'm not going to lie. You could see it in his face when he was getting subbed. I don't know if you watched the game, but the mm. way Trent was coming off, he was just like, why me? Why, like, you, why you got Why you got to do this? I think I think it's becoming more of an agenda with Trent than anything mm, else. But mm, um, mm. yeah, we'll 50, see. The fact that he only played 55 minutes as well, yeah, it was a bit weird for me, the way oh, Trent just got taken off. Yeah, I know. I think he has to. I think Jurgen Klopp sort of not being... Sort of imaginative with the squad again. He needs to reinvent the club, uh, the squad again. There's no sort of, um, no, no there's a lackluster of play. Yeah, there's no, no flair. flair. There's no, no midfield. Lack, yeah, well, yeah, he's that been, midfield is good. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. See, he's not spending the money right. They've got the money. He's not spending the money right. I personally feel Klopp's job should be under scrutiny right now. I agree. You're give, you're being given the money. Yeah, Spend you're right. the money on the right players. You can't blame FGS. Mm, mm. They, they gave you money and you bought Nunes what 100 million euros you bought <laughs> the, Gakpo I was just about to say about Gakpo the most touches he had was in the centre of the midfield oh. like he, the, where it's red it's just his, it's just the centre of the look at pitch. his ratings mm. from when he joined Liverpool they've all been orange yeah, yeah, yeah. what colour kit does Netherlands wear right. look at him look at him look at him that's Look fo- him. that football heritage. Look at him. Mourinho style. Football Look heritage. Right? It's some BS, bro. The guy is not good enough for the Premier League at the moment. I, just, I feel like he's just be like, I'm a big fan of Cody Gakpo. I've been saying it since he was at PSV personally. Like he's he's a good player, but I just think there just needs to be a better system for him to play in. I personally think what he's a good player. What system do you need, bro? He needs to be on the left. He is an essential player. He bro, needs to be on the out bro. wide. Because he's Darwin too, Nunes... He's even be out right. Nah, he's, nah, 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 he's, he's good like out there. He's like 6'4". A wide target, man. That's what he a is. Wide a target. wide target, man, bro. I'm telling you, a wide target, bro. man. He's a good player. He's a very bro, good he player. he needs to get his head down and train. Don't worry, man. Trust me, look. I'm not worried. I don't believe, care if he doesn't perform. Right, Liverpool fans, believe in Cody. That's all I'm saying. I don't believe in Cody. Believe I don't believe in WWE. Like, Cody. Cody. Believe in Cody. Bro, Cody... Wow, you see that American dream. Oh yeah, yeah the Scouse dream, the Scouse dream, bro. He's the Scouse dream. Scouse dream, the yeah. Scouse dream, bro. Oh my days. Anyway, Cody, he's, yeah. your, he's your Scouse dream. I wish man. you the best, though. I wish you the best. Yeah, bro. I know, but Yo, Bola. Uh, when it came, like, we'll go back to Brighton real quick mm. because well done to them. They managed to outplay uh, Liverpool. Bad Liverpool side. Yeah, yeah, bad Liverpool side, of course. But they didn't look like they missed um, Moises Caicedo. I don't know what. What do you reckon? How, how do you think uh, Brighton look without him? Do you I reckon think they look the best without him? I think they don't even need him. They don't even need him. They don't need him. They know how to sort. Bro, they've got. They've already got someone lined up to replace him. Mm, even mm. though I don't think they play the same position, but they signed someone from Sweden. I Is think it that he's guy? Swedish. Yeah, bro, they don't yeah. need him. He's calm. Mm. Same way they didn't need Trossard. Same way they didn't mm. need Ben White. Bro, Casado. Um. I saw what you put in your um, Insta, IG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Casado was basically begging. He was begging to it's, be It's M- Mudrick 2.0. He was it's begging. What it is. He said, I'm the youngest of 10 siblings. <laughs> Give me the P. Give me Give the, me the money. This P, Three, 3.5K a month yeah. or a week isn't yeah. good enough. I need to go to the Arsenal, please. Yeah. He, was tw- he wasn't even twerking. He was crawling. He said, please let me go. Uh, no, he, was, he wanted that go. move. He wants this move. I'm let not me go. Lie. Gracias. Let me go. Let yeah, me go. <laughs> I swear they speak um, Spanish in a yeah, yeah, of course. Let me go. Yeah. He, bro, yeah. I saw an old picture of him he was wearing some old fake Arsenal shirt I think it was was it 16 I saw, yeah. him, I saw him in a Chelsea shirt yeah that one there is that is there as well so he he could go to either club okay there you go but then. Arsenal put yeah. the money down bro like I know they're going to play hardball but they don't need him same mm. way they did to Cucurella they said don't train with us go outside and Chelsea got him like bro if we get this guy that's a level up for us yeah that's the level up for I us I think bro. he definitely comes in as a good squad player for you guys he doesn't start 
He, he's someone that can sort of operate in that's, that. That's he can do the top of the role. That's part of yeah. his replacement. He's bro. 21, isn't he? Something I thought he was like, like 19. Bro. Yeah, I don't know. He's, well, do, you wanna, do you wanna check that out? Yeah, or? I don't know. I think he's 21. I'm sure he's 21. Oh, he wouldn't. Yeah. I, I couldn't. Yeah, he he's is 21. 21. Yeah, I thought he was so. still a minor. No, bro. no, no. He's still 21, bro. Like for him to be like worth this much now, having this much said about his name, he'll he'll definitely go for that. Uh, go for that con- contract. He needs to Arsenal. leave, bro. Because to. if he doesn't leave this season, if he starts playing for Brighton again, he could his um, game and his form could drop, and then he's not going to get that big sign anymore. Mm. And I, for one. Footballing wise, I for one believe in people living their dreams yeah. and going towards what they need to succeed. It's why we understood Mudrick going to Chelsea. Oh, it's like, why we understood that. Yeah, give him the money, succeed in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, ain't no one's trying to stay in Brighton when um, Arsenal and Chelsea are after you. Mm. No sane person, even if you're Brighton through and through, <laughs> bro. Arsenal and Chelsea, exactly, two of the biggest clubs in the world mm. are calling you, and bro, you have to go. Twenty one, yeah, yeah twenty one, and like it's no brainer. All- yeah, eight, that's the beg. Well, by the looks of the links, they're sort of they're saying that currently they're gonna probably put in another seventy million pound bid. I hope Arsenal, we do. I hope we do. Do you reckon? Do you reckon there's it's gonna get too much with Kai Seda? Obviously, he's been here what eighteen months, something like that. Um, do you reckon that the price is going a bit too much now? I don't, from my point of view, I don't really care because no? it's not my money. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. <laughs> I hear that, but let when me you talk- come, when you when we if you was in that. Board in right that there. board, yeah. Um, Vinesh is on your right, and you got the Chips Keswick on your left. Is he still? He's still there, isn't I it? don't even know if he's still there, bro. But I get that's what your, you mean. And we're, and we're and trying they're to saying, get... what's the finances of this uh, transfer deal? Are I'm they? Are you say, selling? Yeah. Do you want to win the Premier League or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finances wise, I understand. You'll that's... get your money back up you, anyway. Mate, you wanted to put what ninety million euros for Mudrik? Mm, yeah. Bro, get me this guy. Yeah. Get me this guy. I think success needs to come first. Forget about finances. We've done finances for the last 20 plus years with us with Wenger. Forget about yeah, that. Yeah, We've been yeah, saving yeah. up money for yeah, yeah, how many yeah, years yeah, yeah. now? Get me these big players. And I'm Spend not, the yeah, money. To be fair, I'm not going to lie to you, but I don't think Arsenal fans can moan anymore about the Cronkies because ever since they they're took... They're money Ever now. since they took 100% control of the club, they've been putting they're money in. money down. They spend yeah. this money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Come I agree. Come off it, man. We've got all these economics and all that. It's done. Yeah. Done. We've said net spend, net worth. Done. Do you want to officially know how much Moises Caicedo is earning, by the way? Yeah, what's it officially? Because I've been saying 3.5k. Nah, bro. It's 15k. 15k he's earning. And then you've got Matoma on 10 grand. 15k How come people yeah. are saying 3.5k I don't know 15k is small bro Yeah 15k is small I know it's small But know. that's like That's how much That's my sources In capology bro That's what they're telling me But Matoma's on 10 grand a month A week as well Yeah he's probably worth He's gonna, he's he's gonna be Yeah he's gonna yeah, be up there worth, I think they What Brighton have there Is a lot of assets And I don't think I would worry about Who's gonna replace it Because they're gonna be cold anyway yeah, scout ID's on It's on It's on point It's on, it's on point steroids, It's ridiculous bro. bro It's on steroids bro Yeah man it's weird They're making a a lot of money Yeah they are they're, Damn yeah. That's a team to support If Like let's say You're just coming into Watching football And you need a team to support Brian, mm. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Just come here Just support Brian Young Just get players, the field the Prem yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they don't miss Like any replacement they get Everybody's like Oh Potter's gone They're gonna start mm. messing up Bro Potter went They got Is this guy No he's Italian right Who's this Their coach Zerby, yeah, 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 Zerby yeah. came through And it's like As we said just fit in molded yeah, in yeah yeah he just fits in perfectly that's what yeah. we, and because Brian plays similar in terms of um, attacking wise with Arsenal that's yeah. why most of their players can just jump in mm. look at Chossard he's like, he was like he just yeah, fit in fluid, he just yeah, fit in yeah, we, yeah, need, fit we need that we need that yeah, so Brian right. any of your players that you don't really need like just bring them yeah, to us nah, you're right, bring them you're to right. us we're trying. Not, yeah I mean that looks like it could be a transfer to happen but when we look at some confirmed transfers now so we move on from the Fixtures of the FA Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, another team doing the free Pete on the Click for E5 podcast. Everton. Can't believe they're doing this free Pete. Are we? Why have we spoken about these up for free? Evertonians. Oh my! You guys are lucky, but well, unlucky, lucky in a way. Right, right. Dan Ju- <laughs> <laughs> but Dan Juma. Dan Juma. Ah. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen from a footballer. I'm here to support the team. I'm going to do well for the yeah, Keep this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, shut up, bro. Tottenham just came and called for me, bro. He's, his Nigerian side came out. Oh. His Nigerian side came out. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I was saying yeah. he shook hands with all the Everton yeah, players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was like, you know what? I couldn't believe that. 
I'm not ready for a relegation scrap nah. battle. Yeah. I can't have that on my CV. No, 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 no. Tottenham's there, so I might. I have can't it. have that on my I've CV. I've already done that with Bournemouth. Leave that to every, in, someone else. Bro, I don't blame him. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame, blame him. him. And he I don't probably offered him more money. He, yeah, he he started again in their FA Cup he game. He scored. Yeah, he scored as well. Ain't That's nobody trying say. to have a relegation yeah. scrap battle. I think, do you reckon now, does the Richarlison deal look more of a flop now that he's coming? Because <laughs> I feel like they're, they're both sort of playing winging play positions. Uh, I feel like Richarlison looks more of a flop and, and, and a massive waste of money. £50 million pounds or £60 million pounds it was. the time Richarlison came to Tottenham Hotspurs... <laughs> And Harry Kane was still in Tottenham Hotspurs. I don't know what he expected. Richardson is a striker nah, yeah, yeah. that plays on the wing sometimes. Mm. He went to the World Cup. He scored one of the best goals of the World Cup. Yeah, definitely. Off as history. a centre striker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got You're back right. to Tottenham. Yeah. Was he playing on the wing? On the wing, yeah. I think it's his fault. Until Kane goes, Richardson ain't going to score nothing. He has zero yeah. goals in the league. He has yeah, zero yeah, yeah. goals in the league. Come on, bro. Richardson. It's terrible. I, I still can't like going back to Dan Juma before we go off topic mm. a little bit. I still just can't believe the transfer actually happened Why in terms of it? the way it did. Huh? Why wouldn't it? Yeah, well, it's just the way the medicals were done, contracts let, were sealed. Let me ask you. Let the, me ask the, you. The media, the media stuff was done, right? Yeah. And if all of this is done, yeah. You expect the player to go. Nothing has been signed. Yeah, he did. Nothing has oh, been I signed. That. Not to, I, I just could have believed Remember it. Remember William? Yeah. He was having a medical Chelsea, on the table. Tottenham. And Tot- then Chelsea came. Chelsea came. But Oz, what would you do? Yeah. What would, let's say you, that's you. That's you as a player. You've got a family, livelihood. Mm. You need money. Mm. Money rules the world. Let's not get it twisted. Mm. You're about to sign for Everton. You've already chatted shit that you don't care. Yeah. Who's yeah. going to be the manager? Who's going to be the coach that you're. He's here for the team and whatnot. And you hear Tottenham want you. I know Tottenham's not a big team. Okay, Tottenham's not a big team. Nah, they're, but they're, they're, a, they're a big team. Your London, bro, if they tell you you want to live in Liverpool, you want to live in London, ain't nobody trying to live in Liverpool. Nah, right, no fair job. enough. Fair, if you bro, look at that side lifestyle, of it. Yeah, 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 everything yeah, lifestyle, bubbling up. It Tot- all matters, it all matters, It I guess. all matters, yeah, and yeah, you, yeah, you know right. what? This is a chance for me on loan. Let me go to Tottenham. Yeah, I might as, he's just thinking I might as well make a career of myself over here, isn't it? One Ooh, of them ones. Dan Juma. Right. It's not like he's never played in the Champions League before. Nah, true. It's not like he hasn't bowled in the Prem before. Well, last year in the Champions League, he was probably Villarreal's best so, player. Exactly. Yeah, so he's yeah. thinking, you know what? Let yeah. me go to Tottenham. Let me, let me fight for Try a place there. Try and get a there. proper team's like, signing. I ain't signing. trying to do a yeah, relegation yeah, yeah, yeah. scrap. Nah. That's mentally not good. Yeah, like when I first saw him like link with Bournemouth, and then Everton, I was a bit surprised because this the guy last season was doing bits was in the right. Champions League. He was right. He just yeah. missed out on the World Cup spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. think probably Gap Paul yeah, someone yeah. took his place. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but yeah, it was oh. interesting. But, oh my God, that's just one flop. The second flop is just losing their youth, uh, someone from their youth academy. Oh my God. Anthony Gordon moved to Newcastle for £45 million. That's who you should call disgusting. That is not Dan Juma. Do you really? Dan Juma yeah, has no yeah, loyalty. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's even worse. Than Gordon that. is disgusting. What, yeah, 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 yeah. That is terrible. I think that transfer is just it just didn't make any sense to me the way he went around it. The three days of striking from training, Good. and then to be like, do you know what? This is what this is Good. the club I want to be at because they look like they know what they're doing. Good. Like, all right, fair enough. You might not like the. Um, Owners of Everton mm, Football Club, mm. but that's still your boyhood club. That's where you grew from you your see ranks. How the media spoke about him, like he was fighting to go to a better club and uphold his career. If it was another player, mm. Pogba. If it was another player, <laughs> they'll be eyeing him, saying, "Yo, yo, yo Pogba is being disrespectful." This is the yeah, bro. Yeah, they yeah. made him seem like what he did was good. Bro, yeah. he forced his way yeah, out. He didn't come to training. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If, you don't do that. You're signed. If he was, signed. if he was from, you know, a different continent, yeah, yeah, from down south, yeah, I feel like, yeah, certain people might, yeah. have, might have had a little something to say. I'm not gonna oh, lie, bro. The guy's even shit. He's not a good player. <laughs> Most of his goals are deflected goals. He's got no Europe, potential. Yeah. Newcastle just wasted forty million on him, bro. Yeah. I can't see anything he has done that's worthwhile playing for Everton. All he's, all he's good at is he's got pace, mm. and I don't even. Uh, yeah. He's just terrible. His pace man. is also on. Yeah. On like the counter on the run, you it's mean, just his off the ball bro, work. I think guy, that's why. Bro, this defense. Oh, <laughs> it's his off the. No, I feel no, like no, they, no. Newcastle were just signing for his off the ball work. He Anthony, looked, yeah, you know, Anthony I just Gordon. Think, yeah, no, 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 no. I think if anyone can work with someone that's got better statistics off the ball, it's Anthony, it's Eddie Howe, who's a defensive coach, and he'll. Right. And this is this guy's just going to put the work in. I think. 
for the if future, wants for to, the long the, term. The, the price tag is excessive as well. 40 million. Yeah, that's too much. I agree with that. 20 million probably. Ten. I would say <laughs> ten. Oh, ten. You gotta remember this climate oh, we're yeah, in though. He's British as well. Yeah, he's English. You, you so gotta you put go an English there, tax. Put like yeah, 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 that. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That. He's never gonna play for the English uh, national, um, nah, national team. No, I don't see him ever playing for the English national team. There's too many good players ahead of him to even think about him his name in front of all of them. I would say. What personally. position does he play? He's a winger <laughs> slash ten, I think. Ten, okay, cool. If he's a ten. Um, who plays Ted for Liverpool, um, for Newcastle? Willock? It's Joe Willock. Willock. Well, Willock they, don't play, they don't really play, play with a 10. 10. They, they play like they, a, a reserve sort of, of eight, yeah. like a further eight. And, who yeah. are their wingers right now? Wingers Almiron, are Almiron. St. Maximum doesn't start. No, it's um thing. Oh, you've lost my trailer of thought, man. I was about to say it. What does he look I like? Can't... What does he look like? Oh, stop. Stay you made me forget. I'm gonna make you forget when I said some names. You made me. You said Saint Maximan, so that's just put blew me right off. Oh man, who was it? Um, was it Joe Linton? Yeah, Joe Linton. He's midfield. No, nah, Bruno Guimaraes, Matty Longstaff, and Joe Willett play in midfield. So Joe Linton, He's who's the their best midfielder, uh, plays on. Yeah, the wing. yeah, he plays on the wing uh, as well. Right, we'll see what Gordon can do in it. Yeah, no, I agree, but yeah, when it comes to let's look at his last game when they won one 0 I'm sure it was. Joe Linton well, that the was one playing. against Southampton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Did he did play. Yeah, he did play. Yeah, of course he played. He played on the wing. Yeah, yeah. Number seven. He's, he's on the wing. He just started playing there because against. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a recent thing. You're yeah, right. You're right. It's but a yeah, it's still, maybe it's... that's why they want to get Gordon to have that. But mm. he ain't. Maybe nah. Joe Linton will go back in midfield and, and he plays that wide. Yeah, know. it's one of them ones. It's going to be one of them ones. It will be interesting to see what Gordon does at Newcastle. But I feel like we're just giving it too much airtime on this podcast. Yeah, now. we are, man. It's too much rubbish. But anyways, now we go on to the exciting now, part. No, let's talk about Son Dyche. Why? Oh, uh, true, true. Carry on, carry on. Carry all right, on. All right, cool. No, 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 it's cool. Like, you don't rate him. That's understandable. Okay. Carry on. Yeah. I respect that. Carry on. S- still relegated. That's it. Yeah, carry on. All right, on. so now we get on to the juicy part of the show where we do a little mid-season review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we're going to look at best player, worst player, and worst signing. They're mm. the three categories we're going to do. And then we're mm. going to do a team of the season so far. Okay. okay. Yeah. Between me and you, we're going to do a combination of Click 45's team of the season so far. Yeah, yeah. So best player this season, who are you going with? We're going to make this a discussion type of vibe. I've got um a few players I have in mind. Um, <laughs> Just I say the whole Arsenal team, but I'm not going to say that. Um, <laughs> I think player of the season, I've got a bit of soccer in there. I've got a bit of... Uh, um, Rashford in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a bit of Odegaard in there. I um, think that's the best player this there's season. A, there's a few. Um, yeah, so it's going to be, but for me, right now, between Saka and Odegaard. I okay. know Rashford's in form, but between Saka and Odegaard, like, yeah. yeah. For me, it's Odegaard because he's just been consistently throughout from September consistently till now. Consistent. Yeah, consistently consistent. One of them mm-hmm. boys. He's mm-hmm. been the best player this season, just making mm-hmm. the, creating the chances for the players up front, for the front three. Of Arsenal as well as he can chip in mm. with the goals, oh. so he's pretty decent. But yeah, go on. I got another one for you. Um, yeah, let's do best player outside of the top six. Okay, fair enough. Best player outside of the top six. Interesting. I think oh, this is a good one. Who you got? Who have you got in your mind? I got a few Brian players. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that what you? Because we just spoke about the minute. For me, I think I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go Bruno Guimaraes though. Mm. Bruno Guimaraes has probably been the most like sort of. So, how do I put it like this new sort of like toy for Newcastle that they can't believe they got that you know what I'm trying yeah, to say yeah, yeah. like if they can't believe they got it like mm. it, it's just like it's something that they shouldn't be like hoping for so early on in their sort of tr- takeover in terms mm. of their transfer and become like he's been their Robinho like well, that's, well not in terms of like the style of transfer not obviously the the uh, performances but yeah, Bruno mm. Guimaraes for me is the best player outside mm. the top six. I'll say um, Nick Pope. Yeah, fair enough. Another Keeper. Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, I think Newcastle would be brilliant. Nick like Pope has put in a lot. Yeah, I think Champions League is theirs this season. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to. I'm just going to put it out there. Yeah, it's going to be one of them mm. ones. I give them that. Let mm. them have fun. What about the worst player this season? Worst signing. Worst, worst player. Worst, worst player. Worst player. Worst, per, worst player throughout this season so far in the Prem. Have you got any in Emerson mind? Emerson Royale. 
Yeah. He has been. Oh, he's an awful. Oh, no, that's that was mine as well. <laughs> Emerson Royale has been terrible. He's an uh, awful, he paid million, uh, one million pounds to get better as a footballer, but he's, he's just gone backwards. Awful. Oh, oh Ma- man. Or, um, Maitland Niles. He hasn't even started, has he? But he I think he goes into much. the next category, the worst signing of the season. It's probably either him or you're looking at probably some... Gap boys too early to say Gap Yeah, boy. yeah. So it's the same. I personally would say the same with Nudes. It's a bit yeah, too early to say, but early. some people would put him in there. But for me, the worst signing would probably have to be Felipe Coutinho. Wow, that's true, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's true. 21 mil. Bro, it's it's, it's, it's it's terrible. It's terrible signing from Aston Villa. Coutinho's done nothing. He's been so, he's been like a he's been just invisible the whole season. Yo. I can't remember the last time I ever spoke about this guy. No long shots, no, no nothing, nothing. No, nothing. No match of the day highlights. God damn. Yeah. You know that's bad for Felipe Coutinho when he's got no highlights. Single World Cup. Yeah, yeah no, nice. terrible, man. Terrible. All right. So that's a wrap up of oh. our quick mid season review. Yeah. So we'll move on to our team of the season so far. Interesting. So we'll do a 4 3 3, of course. Who have you got in goal? Nick Pope. Really? Wow. Most clean sheets this okay. season. Least goals conceded. Let's hope we can carry on agreeing with this because I said Pope. Best as well. defense in mm. the league yeah, at yeah, the yeah. moment. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that. Pip, yeah. Pope, most clean sheets, is like you said, he's got a record to catch, to catch up with when it comes to Petr Cech's record. He's clo- oh, yeah, closed it all of that. that. Yeah, yeah. But it could be interesting if he could. But yeah, you're right. He needs a helmet for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're not wrong. Uh, <laughs> right back. Uh, Kieran Trippier. No. I'm putting it down. I'm saying Ben White. Because. Why? Because. Shall I tell you why? Go on. Exactly. Most chances no. created by Kira Trippier, right back. He's a chances. traditional right back. He's playing, he's mo- He's creating the most, um, from a fullback, most chances on created from ball, a fullback. He's ball, brilliant. Ball playing he's been brilliant. Ball, ben White, but I'll give you Trippier then. Go, right, go cool, with Trippier. Trippier. All right, cool. Thank go you. With Trippier. I appreciate that. Let's just be more civil like yeah. this as well as we go carry on. on. Centre backs. Saliba Gabriel, I don't care. Saliba Gabriel. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. Give it to us. Or put, put a Newcastle defender in. Or put... Um, For me, what? it's Martinez. What? Okay, put him. Go Saliba, on. Martinez. Saliba and Martinez. No, Martinez and Gabriel. Martinez and Gabriel, not Saliba. Yeah. I but think Martinez I... and Gabriel. I need yeah. experience. Oh, okay, all right. So Gabriel... But don't forget... Don't forget... Um, don't forget uh, Martinez's partner. He's he's had an okay season as well. Yeah, Varane's been Varane's very good, good as well. Season. I'm not going to lie. But when it comes to the way that like, he's played, everyone's like, oh, he's too short. Too short. He's not that short, nah, bro. Nah, he's like a warrior. He's a butcher. He's in there. He's a yeah. he's the butcher, bro. He's, he's really butcher. good, man. And um, I think um, what's the name of this Newcastle defender? Botman. Botman. He's yeah, been he's right. been really good as but well. I don't want too but I don't think he's been on the levels of Martinez, Gabriel, them, Saliba, them man, Moran. Them man are yeah, I they are top, top tier. Notch, top Left notch. back for me is Zinchenko. Oof. Zinchenko no, you, I, you cannot name me A better left back This season That means the way This team is going to play Is going to be like hey, what, nah, right, we're, No we're doing hyper, I'm not doing that <laughs> I'm not doing that Rubbish where we talk about Oh no If I want right, three Zinchenko. tens In this team right. of the season I'll do three All tens right, In this then, season It's I'm, trying to, I'm thinking of left backs Right now and you can't name any better than Zinchenko this season. And, really and I'm telling you, I'm looking the closest one to him is Brighton's Estupinian. I think that's how you pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, but... He's been probably the closest, I would say, maybe him. Zinchenko's been on crunch. Yeah, Zinchenko's just been ridiculous. If I know he's been... If getting any players, I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm thinking... But, yeah, put them in the comments if you can figure. A couple really. man could say Luke Shaw. Yeah. But he hasn't really been playing as a left-back when he's been doing Since well. Since back from the yeah, World Cup, he's, he's been, been a ball centre-back. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, centre mids, three of them. Do you want to say all three, or should we do one at a time? Because for me, it's Odegaard. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, Granite Xhaka, nah. Bruno Guimaraes. Okay, that's what. So if we agree with Odegaard, I'm putting Odegaard, Odegaard right in there. Yeah, mine is Odegaard, Casemiro, and Partey. Casemiro should be in there. I'm not gonna lie. I'll give you Casemiro because Casemiro has been brilliant. I forgot about him. I'm not gonna lie. But Bruno Guimaraes or Party now? Good. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I'll, I'll give you Pie. I'll give you Pie because you gave me uh, Trippier. 
I would appreciate that. I appreciate you sure? that. You sure you want us to put Partey or I want to put Partey because of how important he is to the team as no, well I, as his playing. You are the, he's there. I think he should be in the team of the season yeah. because if it wasn't for his performances, you would have probably be as close, uh, as um, far away from Manchester City as you are personally, I mm, think. Mm, so mm, I think he's facts. there. He's there out of like reason it's not like um mm. it's a pity it's a charity vote yeah, from me yeah, it's yeah, a, there's yeah, a definite yeah. reason yeah 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 uh now we're getting on to the front three i think right wing the best Saka. probably winger in the world bukayo bukayo yeah bukayo. definitely Saka star bukayo. probably one of the yeah as i said the best right winger in the world currently I, I, I cannot wait to see what he does in the champions league <laughs> He's going to be interested. I'm not going to lie. Kyle. <laughs> He'll be good, man. He'll be good. Kyle. He's going to be good. Yeah, man. All right. What about left winger? I think there's only one. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! Cold! Cold! Yeah, man. Give it. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be one. Give it in. <laughs> Carry on feeding the kids, bro. Give it him. Oh, facts, facts. MVE Rashi. Yeah. <laughs> I think the other one's obvious. Well, up front. Yeah. Erling Braut Haaland. Yeah. The ah. absolute machine. He's ripping them absolute apart. Absolute machine. Ah. I can't believe it. Ah. He's, a couple people could say Kane, but <laughs> this nah, season, not this him. season, Erling Haaland's just been give ridiculous. Yeah. Well, before we c- conclude, a few people we didn't name. You think, you yeah, do Kevin, you want to give some... You didn't name Kevin De Bruyne? Yeah, he's not I been think, doing it for you. I don't think he's been as good as people like. Maybe, maybe it's to do with like the secret that he's put himself in there. Mm. What I expect of him, mm. I like. Maybe that's why I haven't thought of him as much as a uh, deep the season so far. But he is like he's still been so good this season. I I think but personally, Almiron, Miggy. Yeah, Almiron, he deserves it. But I don't think he's got to carry it on. Team team of the season. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that's the thing. Any Matomas in there? Matoma, like obviously, well, he's only been a consistent player since October. Mm. So it's I, I'm starting to think more from August to mm. now. But yeah, mm. now some players that aren't even being spoken about. Mm. They're having a terrible season. Yeah, having, like, I Mo mean, Salah is having a terrible Declan season. Rice is, he's not having a terrible season, but it's like the way the team is performing. Yeah. It's not, he's still doing fine. His numbers are okay, but oh. it's just because of the club he, like, he's at. Mo Salah, because he's always taking pictures next yeah. to a Christmas tree. That's yeah. why he's having a bad season. Yeah, man. He's not on his Dean at all. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a shame. Fish, but yeah. So, to wrap up our team of the season so far, I'll yeah. go, just go through our team. Yeah. So, in goal, we got Nick Pope. Right back is Kieran Trippier. Yeah. Centre backs are uh, Gabriel and Martinez. Yep. Uh, left back is Zinchenko. Mm-hmm. Odegaard, Casemiro, and Partey make our three midfield. Damn. And then our up front, uh, front three is. Yeah. Saka yeah. Rashford And Erling Braut Haaland That's quality And we are now Going to wrap up Episode number three Of Click 45 Podcast Like Share Subscribe You know what Follow do. us yeah. Make sure you are Everywhere on our socials Okay Yeah Make yeah. sure you're everywhere Yeah So yeah Thank you for watching And peace Yeah